Hello! In this video I will show you how to import configuration settings from a locally managed Firebox configuration file to a cloud managed Firebox and Firebox templates. Let's go and log into WatchCut Cloud. Within the device configuration of a selected device, available through Configure and then Devices, I first click on the icon on the bottom left side to see more of the configuration screen and scroll down to the bottom and then to click on Import Configuration to start the wizard. Here we can see the list of available settings which can be imported from a Firebox configuration file so other settings not being in this list will not get imported. The first step is to either drag and drop the XML configuration file into the blue field or click on the field to then select your file at the location you have saved it to. This file must be a valid file in XML format, saved from either the WatchGuard Policy Manager or the Fireware Web UI. The file is selected and I click on Next. The wizard, like in this case for exceptions, might detect duplicate settings that exist in both the imported XML configuration file and the Cloud Managed Firebox configuration in WatchGuard Cloud. For this, an action is to be set for each type of duplicate setting. I will come back to this with more details later in this video and just click Next. As shown above, we are now in the area Importable for aliases, where we can see that the wizard has found 8 aliases in the configuration file, while 6 of them are available to import, so 2 of these cannot be imported for some reason. With a click on Not Importable, we can see those 2 aliases and the reason in the column error. In this case, these aliases are actually nested aliases, so aliases which are member to another alias. Nested aliases and aliases which reference a network interface cannot be imported. But wait, with nested aliases I will show you a little trick later in this video. So back in our importable area, we can now select the aliases which we wish to import. To select all at once, check the top checkbox and click next. Here for exceptions, for which the wizard has found 12 in the configuration file, while 7 of them are available to import, so 5 of these cannot be imported for some reason. With a click on Not Importable, we can see that the exceptions already exist in the Cloud Managed Firebox configuration. Back in our Importable area, we can now select the exceptions which we wish to import, so I select All and click on Next. Here for routes, for which the wizard has found two in the configuration file and both are available for import. A quick glance in the not importable area confirms this as we have an empty list. So back again, same story as before, let us check all routes to be imported and click next. Now the same procedure for blocked ports and for blocked sites. For dimension servers, we need to click on Choose Server to select the two dimension servers, which are then set as Primary and Backup. You can, if needed, click and drag the servers to prioritize them in the list, yet in this example they are in the right order, so I click Next. For syslog servers, we select the servers to be imported and click Next. For technology integrations, we select both and click Next to then see an overview to again quickly review the settings to import. When ready, click on Finish. The import process has completed and we are back in the device configuration page with the according tiles having been updated. The configuration would now be ready to get deployed, but let us scroll again to the bottom to go back into the import configuration process. We will use the same configuration file and since the wizard already identifies duplicates, we need to decide what the wizard should do with each of these. For aliases, we have the options to merge, replace, keep both or skip, while the other settings have replace and skip to choose. Let me explain what these actions mean using aliases for example. Merge means that if there is an identical alias name in both the cloud configuration and XML file, all the alias members will be put into the alias. Replace means that if there is an identical alias name in both the cloud configuration and XML file, all the alias members in the cloud configuration will be overwritten by the alias members in the XML file. Keep both means that if there is an identical alias name in both the cloud configuration and XML file, the alias members in the cloud configuration will stay and a new alias name will be created for alias members in the XML file. Skip means that if there is an identical alias name in both the cloud configuration and XML file, the wizard categorizes these duplicate aliases as unsupported and does not import them. 
You can find specific examples for each setting and its actions in the WatchGuard Help Center. Search for Import Configuration Settings from a locally managed Firebox. Let us leave all set to the default and look a bit more in detail at Merge for the aliases. This looks very familiar, except that we do now see our nested aliases named Clients and Servers. The reason is fairly simple and that is because the aliases Host 1 and 2 and Server 1 and 2 are already known in the cloud configuration. Above we see that 8 aliases are found in the file and all 8 of them can be imported, which is a result of the chosen setting merge. The not importable area therefore is empty. So we could now select all again and click on next, but I want to really jump back for us to see what the option skip provides us. Like before, the wizard has found 8 aliases in the file, yet only shows 2 aliases available for import, which are again our 2 nested aliases. The other aliases are in the area of not importable, not because they cannot be imported, but since we want to skip aliases that already exist, these are considered as not importable. So let us check both aliases and hit next. For exceptions and all other settings, we just need to click next as these already exist and are skipped to be imported. Our final page shows us that we have two aliases to be imported, which we want to do. Now we can also see that our count for aliases has increased from 7 to 9. You can do this for every cloud managed Firebox individually, but if you want a certain set of settings to be available for multiple configurations, I suggest you do this via a Firebox template. So under Configure, we have Firebox templates. You can of course create a new template or just like in our case use an existing one. A click on import configuration within this template brings us back to the already known wizard, yet be aware that you cannot import routes into a template. The procedure is the same as seen before, so once having run the import twice to have our nested aliases make their way into the template too, you can accordingly apply and deploy the template. Further details to Firebox templates can be found in other video or documentation material like the WatchGuard Help Center. Here are some key takeaways. First, make sure the import data meets the requirements. Consider how you will resolve duplicate settings that already exist in the cloud configuration. Review what you cannot import, especially to perform an import a second time for nested aliases. If you feel your configuration settings are to be used on multiple cloud managed Fireboxes, consider to import these to Firebox templates, yet remember that importing routes is not supported. All information aside of this video can be of course found in the WatchGuard Help Center. Search for Import Configuration Settings from a Locally Managed Firebox.